So, I've decided enough is enough. I'm fed up tripping over stuff, fed up tripping over the spare shell. So, I'm going to take a bit of a break from this and concentrate on this. All of this. What you're about to see is probably going to be about two days worth of tidying, cutting up, moving stuff, organizing, <laughs> compressed into hopefully a few minutes. Um, the shell is getting cut up. Um, you may be crying about that if you're a Capri purist, but it does not overly bother me. Um, the fella I bought the shell off is getting from here, this sort of line forward back. I'm getting the wings right enough, but the front valance and headlight buckets and radiator supports he needs back. So that's the first order to get those cut up and out of the way. Wings need to come off first actually before I do the front end, but they're good wings. I'm going to try and save them, genuine ones. Um, the rear roof pocket areas somewhere in around here on both sides needs cut out us going to um a friend who needs those so i'll probably just cut the whole roof off and he can take what he needs the rest of it um i was intending to make a trailer out of this shell and uh, to tow behind my own car for shows and stuff but this was really before i crashed my red one i bought this and after having done this I don't really fancy putting the tow bar on it to be truthful. <laughs> so this sort of is out of the, win out the window now. But don't want to completely scrap it because there's some good saveable bits on it. So I'm going to try and cut it up the best I can and keep what I need for an upcoming project and not mine, customers, and get rid of the rest basically. Um, so yes, first order, get all the accumulated crap out of the storage bin <laughs> that is the Capri Laser and get going with organizing, cutting, moving, tidying. Ideally I want this bay back as you can see I've sort of took up quite a chunk of the workshop there so I want this all sorted, shelves moved and I want this as a restoration bay or that as a working area and this is a restoration bay I haven't quite decided yet but whatever happens there's going to be a few changes <laughs>
It's only half a Capri now. Um, I'm going to go home because I'm knackered. The thing was like a flipping TARDIS. I didn't realise all of that stuff was actually in the car. I have a lot of stuff there. Thankfully, there's a load of scrap going on some days in the next few weeks from the yard. So a lot of this stuff is going to be turfed in debt to go to the scrap. Um, regarding the plans for the rest of this, I quite enjoy being destructful. Destructive, destructful, destructive, we'll go with destructive. But it's something I really could have been doing without doing, to be honest. Um, on the bright side, once I get all this stuff out of the road here, I'm going to rearrange the shelves and stuff, put them up against the wall properly, and make this potentially into some sort of a restoration booth, I think, maybe. Put some tarpaulin up here on a frame to stop any sparks going that road. Then I can reverse whatever it is I'm working on into there that needs sparks done and yeah, I'm intending to build a rollover jig in the next few weeks as well, if all goes to plan, um, to put this Capri onto that's coming. So if you're interested in seeing how a rollover jig is put together, um, if you're interested, rather let me know in the comments because I might video it, might not, who knows. But yes, for now, that's going to do me tonight. It is time to get out of here, go home. I think I've got a family at home somewhere, if they're still there. <laughs> so yeah, until the next night I'm back down, and hopefully I'll get the rest of this chopped up. Bye. So, another day, and back to this mess. Um, I've had a bit of a look up in, underneath there, and then underneath there, and the scuttle panels, just in my opinion aren't worth saving it i don't think um i have this one already off the red car that i saved that's quite good and it is the driver's side one so i have a spare one of those this one here it's rotten there and it's rotten there so chances are the whole inside channel which i would need if i did that is rotten as well so to be honest i'm not even going to start attempting to take that out of it it's not worth my time nor effort um the rest of the car bar the tailgate and a few wee different bits and pieces inside. Um, I need the armrest support thingies there for the rear. Um, and a few other bits. But apart from that, the rest of it's going in one lump. So, it's time to try and get this thing jacked up onto these things at least to try and get it pulled up to the workshop door where um, the fella that's taking it will hopefully he has a winch, a three ton winch in the back of a beaver tail so I think it's just going to be ceremoniously winched up on and pulled out of here so I'm looking forward to that but for now I'm going to get it jacked up if I can and onto these dollies and moved to here somewhere if possible then I can start sorting what's happening with this bay really um, so yeah onwards So, car is now stripped as far as I'm going to strip it. I have decided that it's not worth the hassle or aggravation to take these out. Um, this one is rotten on the outside, so it's 99.9% .9 sure it's done on the inside. This one is a bit crusty and up in underneath there. There's holes I can feel up in my finger. So, it's just not great either. So it's not worth my time or effort to take them apart. A posts, not good either. Both sides. Um, and the rest of it is gonna be used for, anyway. 
anyway. The rest of it's going to be used for repair panels. Got the rest of my stuff all packed into the corner. A lot of that is going to go in the next week or two. A lot of that's going to go in the next week or two, hopefully. And um, the likes of these seats, Mercedes seats. Fun story about those seats. <laughs> I got them off a friend who was scrapping his car, fully electric and all. Um, made a bit of a start. In fact, you can actually see it here. And I welded Capri runners onto them. Um, got them all, all the angles and everything worked out. I actually did a full episode of them, how to do it. Went to fit them and my head hit the ceiling. <laughs> so yeah, I have a full episode sitting somewhere with how to fit Mercedes seats into your Capri, but it never went ahead. Um, so yes, a lot more room now here gathered up, as you can see. Um, I have another car coming in at some point to get a good bit of work done too. So I wanted this booth area cleared so that I can put it on a spit and get going. Regarding my own car, which is probably the reason why you're here, um, I am off work next week. So depending on whether or not parts arrive, um, I wanna try and get the engine all buttoned up, get the fuel rail on, get the oil returns and stuff all on, and oil cooler as well, get it or fitted and plumbed up. So yes. Progress will be made on my car, but anyway, a bit of a different one this one, but sort of necessity to get this tidied up a bit. Um, yeah. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button as per usual. Uh, give us a like, share over on social media. I've started uploading the X Pack series onto Facebook and Instagram. Um, I am. Um, Putting them up as full episodes for now to see how it goes. Um, the license that I got with Epidemic Music lets me cross post with no copyright issues, so might as well make use of it. So yes, until the next one, bye.